Hi, in the chapter nine, other GLMs. So due to the time uh, restriction, so we only cover the section 9.1, the gamma GLM. So we have studied the linear model first. Then after that, the binary model and the slight modification makes the binomial. That is the uh, basically the proportion as response variable. And also that we think about the count data uh, such as Poisson regression. So here the I, we will have another example that is the gamma GLM. So gamma GLM, the still um, the Y is continuous. So it's similar to the linear regression, but uh, we have different distribution than normal. So we specifically the deal with the uh, skewed distribution, the distribution, the error distribution skewed to the right. So the topic is the gamma GLM in this section. So recall the density function of the gamma um, random variable. So that is given by this formula, f of y. So one over gamma of nu. So gamma is a gamma function. So in short, the gamma of if we have integer, uh, for example, the k, then this is k minus one factorial. And for fractional k, that we have the different definition using the integral. But basically, just a kind of continuous version of this, the factorial is the gamma function. Then the new over mu to the new power. So this is basically the, a function, the function with two parameters, the new and the mu. And mu is actually the mean parameter as the you know, symbol, the letter indicates. And times the y to the power new minus one times exponential of negative y new over mu. So basically this is the exponential part, but the, um, also we have the power part. So you can see that if new is larger three, four, five, then um, actually the, it makes this exponential function um, a little different shape. So the um, y gets larger than the y to the power new, y to the power new minus one gets larger. So the, if new is larger, we have the sum peak. If new is zero, then just exponential. So just the um, monotone decreasing function. So this is the gamma function. So this is the, this belongs to the exponential family because if we the, just the, um, the not simplify, but the, if we transform this, then that we can get the, this form. So basically the, this is the exponential family because the negative one over mu times y. So y times the function of parameter. So that is the um, definition of exponential family. And here the function of mu, that is the, also the included in the definition. And the numerator, a denominator is the uh, parameter, the, basically the um, function of the variance parameter. And the remaining term that does not include mu. So here the mu is main interest because the, it represents expectation. And the new, new is uh, kind of the nuisance parameter. So this is similar parameter to the sigma square in the linear regression model. So in linear regression model, we would like to determine the function expectation of y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x. So that function is the most important function and the sigma represents the error size. So it's still um, maybe important parameter, but the, not as important as beta. So here new uh, plays the same role as sigma square. So it's a nuisance parameter and the second term C of Y new. So this um, is a kind of the uh, minor part of this function. So the main part is the first part, which includes mu and Y. And here the two make this function uh, a density function, the mu should be larger than zero and the nu should be larger than zero. Yeah, so more common parameters, 
parameterization as the lambda, which is equal to nu over mu, so that the, um, this part becomes lambda. But the, that is not really convenient in the context of gamma GLM. So we will use this parameterization f of y. And the expectation of y is equal to mu, and the variance of y is equal to mu square over nu, or we can say the square of expectation of y divided by nu. So the expectation of y is mu, that is usual, but the variance also depends on mu. So even mu is given, we can control variance by nu, parameter nu, but uh, um, actually the variance also depends on mu. So not only nu. So usual linear regression, the variance was sigma square. So nothing related to mu, but the here that we have a little more complicated situation. And the dispersion parameter phi is equal to one over nu. So in the definition of the exponential family, so this denominator was denoted as phi. So the phi is equal to one over nu. So the parameter estimates obtained in our language also the outputs phi rather than nu. Here, the, there are three examples for gamma distribution. So gamma distribution um, density function is the skewed to the right. So we have um, yeah, skewed to the right. So the, we have heavier tail on right end. And here, uh, this one is the nu is equal to 0 0.75, and this is nu is equal to one, and nu is equal to two. As nu, nu is appears in the power function. So nu is larger than, we have some peak um, between zero and infinity. So if nu gets really large, then it becomes, it approaches to normal distribution, but uh, this is the case. And the, yeah, we have two parameters. The, the other parameter is mu, but the mu is actually this, um, just a scale parameter. So mu does not change the shape of the function. So if mu gets larger, for example, from 10 to 100, um, just the, this distribution is stretched the horizontally, but the shape does not change. So just the, uh, this example that shows the three graphs with only parameter nu. And now that we define the gamma GLM, and the gamma GLM is defined as nu is equal to G of mu. Um, sorry, so th this should be eta. So eta is equal to G of mu, uh, which is the beta transposed x. So basically the G of mu, the function of mu is the linear function of the x1 to xp. And G is link function. Yeah. And the standard deviation of the response is equal to exp expectation of y over nu or expectation of y times the square root of phi. Yeah, so yeah, this is just obtained by the fact that the variance is equal to square of EY divided by nu that discussed in the previous slide. And what kind of link function to use? So we have used the canonical link for the all previous examples. And here the um, gamma GLM also have the canonical uh, link. And the canonical link is so simpler in, in, in terms of the shape of the function. So we have the exponential of the negative one over mu y minus something, I think log of mu over some uh, one over nu and plus something. So um, so the canonical link is eta is equal to one over, um, 
mu, negative one over mu. But the negative sign uh, is not really essential. So mu is anyway the function. Uh, so, sorry, the eta is equal to function. So beta naught plus beta one x one plus da da da. So if you you just flip the sign of beta, then we can uh, change the sign. So the, usually that we use the canonical link as we define the canonical link as eta is equal to one over mu. But this link is sometimes not convenient practically uh, because gamma distribution, gamma distribution, the parameter that should be uh, positive, positive, right? But the eta, eta is uh, just a linear function of x1 to xp. So if x1 to xp are not bounded, then eta ranges from negative infinity to positive infinities. So that makes trouble. That makes trouble because the mu uh, does not become a um, positive number. So this canonical link can be used when beta and x are restricted so that the, it's guaranteed that the um, mu, um, guaranteed that the um, mu is larger than zero. So the more practical link is eta is equal to log of mu. So in this case, even eta ranges from negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, still, the mu is a positive number. So this is exponential of eta. So the, this is positive number. So this works well. And the log of mu is log of expectation. So log of expectation. So log of expectation. So log of expectation of y is equal to linear function. So beta transposed x. So this is similar to the linear model. The log of y is equal to beta transposed x plus epsilon. So this is the reason that the gamma GLM isn't used often. So the, if you ask some statisticians, that probably the, many of them uh, haven't used it in practice because simply we can take the logarithm of response variable. But still the gamma GLM that has um, some, um, something useful uh, because the, if we transform Y, the, everything changes. For example, we cannot compare the likelihood of the two models. If we take logarithm, it's different. And also the meaning of estimation is different. So if we apply the least square method for this one, the scale is log of y. So we minimize different quantity. So if we, in original scale, that we minimize the sum of squared residuals. But if we take logarithm, basically we minimize the, um, squared percent change, right? So the, the meaning has been you know, changed, but the, if we use the gamma GLM, basically we still use the original scale of Y. So the model is comparable to the original linear model. So that is a convenient feature sometimes. And the third one, the mu eta is equal to mu. So this is just identity link. So this is the correct if the y is equal to beta transposed x plus epsilon, but the error follows a gamma distribution. Yeah, so basically this is the theory and the parameter mu is the primary parameter and this is estimated by the maximum likelihood estimator. And the phi, parameter phi, or this is the one over new, so we can say parameter new. So this is the um, nuisance parameter, but the, uh, we have to estimate it later anyway. And the textbook suggests that the, uh, this phi hat, this is the chi-square statistic over n minus p. So this is the uh, most appropriate, the, usually the good estimator um, for uh, phi. And another way is to use the phi hat, um, the maximum likelihood estimator. 